PET um, imaging is a modality in nuclear medicine using a positron emission uh, tomography uh, with a beta plus emitter called positron in order to look at the functional uh, imaging of um, uh, radio terrestrial and radio pharmaceutical. SPECT is the same technique but using this time only one gamma ray coming from the disintegration of the radio pharmaceutical. Uh, it's a little bit lesser sensitive technique but it's still very useful uh, for looking at functional imaging and CT is basically morphological um, modality that allows you to see the shape of the organs and eventually uh, where uh, the localization of the abnormality that we use in SPECT and PET can be localized. So it's an anatomical modality. These three uh, modalities are combined usually two by two. Uh, we use uh, the functional imaging, either PET or SPECT, and we combine it with a CT, which is the morphological uh, localization of those abnormality. It's uh, very complementary and uh, it allows us to be sure that we look at the right organ and that we measure the right activity using the good sensitivity of the nuclear medicine imaging modalities. The LBRI system is um, a tri-modality system combining either one of those uh, nuclear medicine uh, modalities, SPECT or PET, and the CT uh, morphological imaging modality. And uh, it's a very uh, versatile system that we can use in many different aspects in our research. Combining these uh, three modalities allow us to look, for instance, in our research at the diagnostic part using PET and SPECT. So we can use the nuclear medicine modality and the morphological modality. And then using what we call teragnostics, we change uh, the radionuclide from the radio pharmaceutical and we can have a therapy aspect. Using this therapeutic aspect uh, emit usually gamma radiations which is a SPEC technique and we can really look at the dose that the tissue received and to see if we were successful enough to put enough dose to be able to treat the cancer. Today one of the main goals uh, for instance in immuno-oncology is to be able to predict the response uh, of um, patients to a given uh, drug and this is something that uh, we will help uh, this part of the research trying to develop the new radio pharmaceutical that would be uh, able to select and to really make personalized medicine even more personalized and to be able to decide uh, well beforehand which patient is going to answer to which medication. So uh, in the future I think uh, we will need more and more use of molecular imaging to be able to develop these uh, tracers that will be also allowing us to keep uh, the health care cost burden to a given price because uh, these uh, new drugs are very expensive and we want to give them only to patients if they're really beneficial to the patient. So I see in the future much more use of those machines and maybe um, it's not one or two albira that we will need in the future, it's even probably more.